to let you tell me otherwise that that I'm not going to buy my person. You otherwise, I haven't told you anything. I've just asked you some basic questions. Right, I you're you saying, I oh, you're 53. Anything. What are you bringing to the table? Well, I bring a lot to the table. Okay, what? I bring a lot. I bring a great sense of humor. I'm sharp. Okay. I'm funny. I'm smart. I'm ambitious. Well, make me laugh. I'm pretty. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Make me laugh. Ugh, that is so dumb. <laughs> it's like going to a stand-up <laughs> comedian and being like, okay, oh, hey, tell me a joke. Well, it's, it's truly, it's I agree. Like, it's a cheap shot. It's a cheap shot. But Asia here. Asia, you said that... Uh, I think, is this in your bio? Uh, comedy and inspiration for ageless singles. That's, not, that's the bio. Yeah. Our bio. What, what does that mean? What is ageless, what is ageless singles? What is um, that? Because age is just a number in my mind because I mentally feel younger than uh, I am. So yeah. we're ageless. You're only as old as you feel. Well, <laughs> are you? I feel young. I feel as young as these girls sitting at the table. I'm, I'm still a little confused. I don't know if I'm just a little slow or something. I'm just confused. Age, ageless? Yeah. So aging, kind of aging backwards, mm -hmm. aging reverse, yeah, not so, aging. So age is just a number? A, not aging, because, yeah. But age is just a number? Mm -hmm. So you don't object to, like, age gap relationships if, like, a 50-year-old's dating a 25-year-old? It ha no, that's what I'm saying. I think roles are reversed. Like men my age, mm -hmm. I find very jaded. Sure. <laughs> and they are feeling, a lot of them feel very um, taken advantage of by their wives. Or, so they date, like to date younger girls because they're more mm -hmm. carefree. Sure. Okay. Uh, you said that you went on, it was... Uh, you're, you got out of your 10-year relationship. Mm -hmm. You had to learn how to date again. Yes. You told yourself you would go on at least 21 dates to learn what you wanted. Yes. And you said you went on 45 dates last year. Yes. Got burnt out. Not interested in dating right now. So there's no guys in the picture right now. No. Zero. Zero. When's the last time you were on a date? Um, March? February? Okay. February? Nothing, yeah, February. no guys, no guys in the picture. No, I get hit up Even on like my a, Instagram all the time. I get hit on, yeah. but they live in other countries or on the East Coast. Yeah. They're not, it's not, not even real. a fling type thing, casual, nothing? No. Okay. But so 45 dates. So you did 21? Yes. I told and then myself. You did 45. I told myself 21. Mm hmm. And I just kept going to 45. Oh, okay. <laughs> and and uh, what was the period of time? Did a year. One year? Last year, So, yeah. like, about one date a week, about... Yeah, so I um, ended it, moved out of my 10-year March mm -hmm. of last year, mm -hmm. and, oh, wow, it is exactly one year, and the last date I went on was March of this year, so, yeah, it was exactly one year. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many dates, like, the most dates you went on in one week? Probably five. Oh, five in one week? I, okay. There was but, a lot. There was, yeah. No, that's fine. There was just, a lot uh, of dates. So it wasn't like spread out, really. They would be concentrated. I was kind of on a mission to get through the 21 because I really wanted to understand myself. And how, yeah, how long did the 21 take? Five months. Oh, five months. But the, the, the most compacted week was five in a, in a week. Sure, yeah. Okay. Any uh, two dates in one day? Anything like no. that? No. Three dates in one day? No. Okay. Uh, all right. And how did that go? The, well, the 21 dates, 45 dates. I went on 21. Mm -hmm. I still didn't find my person. Mm -hmm. So I continued to go on more dates. Mm -hmm. And number 40 was, you know, after a month, he's like, hey, I don't want to. Um, I'm all in. Mm -hmm. We deleted the dating apps. And we were together for like three and a half months. But it didn't work. And then you had a few more dates after that. And then... Because uh, you said... No, that was number 40, yeah. but you went on 45. Well, I was dating while we were still in the courting stage in that month. Oh, okay. So but I went on five more dates from the time like I met him. early on, but then he was like, let's be committed for a bit, whatever. Yeah. And then that was the last guy that you dated. That was the last guy, yeah. How long ago was that? When did that end? March. March. Yes. Okay, so five, five, five months ago about? Yes. Um, and so... Uh, None of the other guys, though, 
40, 40, none of them caught your three. Eye? There were three men in the year that I had spent um, about three months. I feel like that's kind of the the oh, three expiration date. Three different men that okay uh, that I found is like after three months. That's when people really start to become themselves and they start to really figure out if they can yeah. be with each other. And that's usually when it falls apart. It's kind of the make it or break it. So, so how many of the 45 dates were only one date? Most of them were only one. So like 40 of them? Probably. Because you said there were like three that were like longer. Three time. months, right. But the last one was the only one that I was in. Like we, com we were committed to just each other okay. for that three and a half months. Who, who broke up with who? I broke up with him. Mm -hmm. He was being very inconsistent. Mm -hmm. And then I found out he was hiding that he had a third child. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So the, that betrayal and that trust was broken. So I couldn't no longer be with mm -hmm. him. I see. So after that, I decided just just give it a break. And so what was wrong with like all the, <laughs> the 40 other guys? You, you're just not there. You're just not compatible. It's just not their, your person. Mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of guys that, I, I don't know, they just, you're just not compatible. Mm. It just doesn't work out. Okay. I think a lot of guys too, especially on the dating apps that I found when I was on them mm -hmm. is um, both men and women, both, they don't have the best intentions. Sometimes they are in relationships. Mm -hmm. And I did find out one of the guys that I went on one date with had a couple girlfriends at the time. Mm -hmm. or So I, that's why he disappeared. Sure. So, And so I guess uh, what were you looking for at the time in terms of what you're looking for in the guy? Were there certain criteria, looks-wise, personality? I... I really wanted to find my person because I felt like I spent the last 10 years wasted. I'm going to use air quotes as that because um, he wasn't my person. And so I was kind of on the fast track of trying to find my person. Mm -hmm. And f now in hindsight, realizing like, don't force something that it's not going to work. Um, sure. Yeah. But I had a lot of fun. I went out, went on some fun dates and met some really cool, interesting people. There's probably about three guys that I still talk to that I consider my friends. There's no romance, but, mm -hmm. you know, we had like a great connection. So we did stayed you guys friends. Hook up? We did. Oh, one, wait, one guy I did. Two guys we only went on one date with. Oh, okay. But you still like talk to them or whatever? Yeah, yeah. They're cool. We're cool. Okay. With each other. Um, so you did the, it was the, tw or it looks like 21 dates in three months, right? The 21 dates was in a three month time. Well, it was five months. It was about five months. Oh, I right, think. and your pre show notes, it just says 21 dates in three months. Oh, did I say? Oh, maybe. I think so. All right. Maybe I didn't have my glasses. But then on. there's the 45. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah. You said, uh, cl I, I don't know if this was in one of your videos on your Instagram. You said, I don't know if this is in your notes. You said, closer to what I want and what I deserve. Maybe this is like in one of your uh, videos that was on your Instagram. When you say what I deserve, what do you deserve? I want to be with somebody with old school values, somebody whose actions align with their words, mm -hmm. and also um, somebody that that um, that I can count on. Mm -hmm. What um, what are old school values? Um, traditional values. So. Um, from learning that I just wore the pants in the family this whole time and took care of my son, I'm now looking for a man that has traditional values that wants to be a provider and a protector for me. And um, so I can relax a little bit and not and feel like there's the world is always on my shoulders. You just want to be more in your feminine. I do. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely in, in my alpha. I want to be more in my feminine, and I, I'm always going to work. Uh, I'm too ambitious to not work. <coughs> so I'm, I don't want to be a lady that lunches. I just want. I, I don't understand what are uh, traditional values though that you're, you're. I understand that you want a man to provide for you. 
But what are traditional values? Tradition that you're looking for? for me, a traditional value is a man that um, wants to protect and provide for his woman. That's that's it. And whose actions align with their words? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure how that's a traditional value, though. I would say that's like a, that's, being I mean, a leader I mean, that, in the well, relationship. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me just let me just. I, I just want to. It's provider kind of protector. Here. Yeah, provider protector. That's it. That's a traditional value? Yes, that's what I consider a traditional value because I've okay. not had that. And what, what is it that you bring for him? I bring a lot. I bring a lot of ambition. I bring a lot of fun. I, um, I'm a good cook. Uh, well, a I'm traditional man, as well. Is a traditional man who is willing to provide for you, does he care about your ambition? Yes, yes. He supports. Why, why he would supports, he care about your ambition? He supports my life and my goals as well. Yeah, but I mean, if if you want a traditional valued man and you want him to provide for you, then the focus for both of you should be on his career and the advancement of him so that he can then do that in turn for you, right? Yes, but I am also at the age where I'm about, I want to retire, so I'm looking for a man that, whose kids are also grown, that we're on the same level. So we're on this, we have the same goals in life. Well, okay, what are those goals? To retire in Europe. To retire in, okay, mm -hmm. so you retire in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, you, I'm, I'm guessing that I mean, you're only in your 50s, right? Mm hmm Okay, so you're a long way from retirement. I no, mean, you, I don't think so. I mean, you're, you're at least 10, what, I mean, what did you say, 53? Two. 52, so you're at least 10 years away from retirement. Not in my mind. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I'm not, so, I'm not willing to, to um, what, compromise my standards. So that's why I took a break from dating because I'm working on myself right now. And I know that once I'm whole within myself, then I will attract the right man and um, we will be on the same page. And I don't, I don't know what that means, though. What does that mean, whole within yourself? Well, I'm working on my mental health. I've had a lot of trauma as growing up. I don't have family. I don't have a backup plan. I don't have like parents that are going to give me an inheritance. I'm all I have. And I take care of my grown son. And it's because I worked hard and I made good choices in my life career-wise. And now I'm at a place in my life where I'm taking a step back. I'm not stressing myself out day to day. Well, it and sounds like you come with a lot of baggage. Yeah, that's why I'm working on myself. Yeah, so we all I mean, have you baggage. Come, you come by well, yes, that's true, but I mean you would have to agree that some people have a lot more than others though, right? Sure. Yeah, so I mean if you if you come with a lot of baggage and you want a man to provide for you, what is his incentive to do so? That that you're really fun? Because I'm working on myself and I'm trying to heal the baggage. <laughs> yeah, but so if I think he has that's a choice between I think if a man who is successful enough to go and retire in Europe with you has a choice between you and other women who have less baggage, these other women, let's say, and they're not working on themselves, why wouldn't he just pick them? I think what she's trying to say is she's trying to work yeah, she to can get speak to for herself, a, like, I promise. a place of right. finding I promise she man. can speak for herself. Let her finish. Go ahead. Absolutely, because you, a man would have free will in me, and that's, but that's not my man. That's not going to be my person. So maybe my person is somebody that has the same sort of background as me that also worked on himself and is looking for the same things. And I'm willing yeah, to I wait mean, for it. Yeah, I mean, you have to admit that that's going to be rare, right, to find, uh, find a man who's going to uh, retire you in Europe and deal with all your baggage if he has tons of other options which are available to him if you're just kind of working on yourself. But I have the money to retire in Europe myself, so I don't need him to do that as well. Then why are you but looking for him? Because I want to find my person because I believe in love. Yeah, right. So then you still have to have a competitive edge, right? What are you hearing that I don't have that's not competitive with other women? Well, you said that you still take care of a fully grown adult male. 
right? Yeah, well, he's going through college now, and so mm -hmm. he can stay with me until he's finished with and school And you want completely. this other male to take care of you, which I'm guessing means that he's going to primarily be using his resources on you and not your resources on him, right? We can use my resources as well. I have resources. Yeah, I know, but he's going to bring have, a lot more of them. That's what you're after, right? I have perks, too. I have perks with my life. I'm not saying you don't have perks. I'm just asking for what the competitive edge that you would be bringing to the table at 53 would be for a man who would bring the resources necessary to take care of you for the rest of your life in Europe. That's all I'm asking. I don't think that's going to be hard to find. I think that it might take me longer, but I hear what you're saying, and I, 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 I'm not going to let you tell me otherwise that that I'm not going to find my person. I'm not telling you otherwise. I haven't told you anything. I've just asked you some basic questions. Right. I you're you saying, I oh, you're 53. Anything. What are you bringing to the table? Well, I bring a lot to the table. Okay. What? I bring a lot. I bring a great sense of humor. I'm sharp. Okay. I'm funny. I'm smart. I'm ambitious. Well, make me laugh. I'm pretty. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Make me laugh. Ugh. That is so dumb. <laughs> it's like going to a stand-up <laughs> comedian and being like, okay, oh, hey, tell me look, a joke. Look, it's, it's true, I it's agree. Like, it's a cheap shot. It's a cheap shot, but it's just funny to say, right? Whenever, so, whenever a woman says wait, they're funny, it's in the moment. I, I, it's just always been my experience that they're that they're not funny. But the well, thing is, is just even, if you, were, YouTube, even if you were in the my, category, oh. hang on, even if you were in the category of being a very, very funny woman, right? Uh -huh. All women think that they're funny. Right? All women think that they're funny. So the, the question is, is like, okay, I get it. You bring a good sense of humor to the relationship. Obviously, other women will be bringing a good sense of humor to the relationship as well. I'm asking what you specifically are going to be bringing that other women in your age bracket aren't going to be bringing. I just said. I just said it. Did I not just say it? I, Wait, well, you said you're funny. And I'm smart. I I'm really ambitious. I'm ambitious. I am funny. I am successful. I am... Okay. Yeah, but men don't I'm care pretty? about success. They don't care about success. <laughs> they don't care about how successful a woman is. They care about how pretty she is. I'm and, pretty. Uh, how, I'm pretty. How well she treats I'm her. pretty. Have you looked at me? I'm very pretty, and I'm smart, and I'm very sweet. Okay. All right. Uh, I have a couple things on this, but we do have somebody uh, joining us on the panel here. Uh, you can come ahead and take a seat. Uh, we. Morgan had to exit. Morgan had to exit. So we have, she doesn't speak English though. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to ask her any questions, but she can just kind of give facial reactions. And, and so, uh, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Uh, any Spanish speakers that. at the table? Yeah, so if, just maybe like if, mm. eh, it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Anyways, um, and if you can just scoot into the, uh, how do you say scoot into the table in Spanish? Emedete la mesa. Ah, si. <laughs> si. Okay. Um, so, anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, and for, guys, Morgan was feeling a little, uh, a little, little unwell, so uh, she, uh, she, had to, she had to go. But she'll be back Tuesday, most likely. Anyways, um, I do want to, really quick, just to piggyback on what Andrew was talking about. You said you're successful, funny. Really quick on the funny one, though. No offense, ladies. I don't think guys care. They do. They want you to be clever. Funny. They want eh. you to be able to hold a conversation. Eh. Really? Eh. And, and are right. guys lying when they say, oh, I love, your, I love you, you're so witty and yes. you're funny? They're yes. lying? Yeah, probably. Yeah. So yeah. then you're leading a girl on and telling her what she wants to hear? Oh, yeah, guys no, do that don't all the time. Exactly. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. So you're saying that if a woman doesn't look good, um, maybe she looks fat in a certain dress, that you're just being mean by telling her, oh, no, honey, you look good in that dress. Is that what you're saying? Or is there times where it's appropriate in a relationship to avoid kind of um, fights which are unnecessary to just kind of, ah, you know, sure, you're witty. Yeah, yeah, of course. I love having conversations. I love the long walks on the beach and the mojitos at night. It's, mm. it's my favorite, right? Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think guys really care about the whole funny thing. All right. You know? All no right. offense. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't really care. Well, you're like just I speaking wasn't, for yourself. You're uh, I feel for like yourself. I'm speaking for 90% of dudes. And for him. Maybe there's like one, three dudes that like really like funny women. I don't know. 
Yeah. Like there's three dudes in existence that want to fuck Amy Schumer. Don't know. But I will say this. I, w- I don't think there's ever been a woman who's like, well, I didn't want to have sex with her. But after hearing that <laughs> remarkable joke, now all of a That's sudden. That's where they sealed the deal. Sealed the deal. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Andrew, I sent you a text message. I sent right. you a text message, Andrew. Um, and then the success thing, though. Wait, didn't you say you wanted, like, I forgot what it, uh, I don't know if you said traditional or what? Yeah, traditional. What I'm saying is I just don't want to have everything always relying on me all the time. I'm looking for a partner. Like, Like, I'm not looking to, like, just not work. So you said you went on 45 first dates, right? All different guys? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's Um, what I'm counting. Of all the the 45 first dates, um, would you say most of them would be, like, either a drink or dinner? Yes. Mm-hmm. And of the 45 dates that you went on, who paid for the dates? They did. In every single, like, 100% of them? Oh, yeah. Any, any split? No. No Not one, no one asked me. Nobody asked me to split. 40, just to be clear, 45 first dates. Yeah. And in each instance, the guy always paid. Yes. Okay. And then you said there were three guys who you dated a little longer mm-hmm. than just, you know, most of these guys, one date, that was it. Mm-hmm. Um, would they continue to pay for dates? Yes. Did you ever pay for a, a date? Um, I'm good at in, like... In, with the three I'm Never a about. date. I've never paid for a date, but okay. I've, also, I've offered mm. to pay for dessert or, okay. you know, um, right. what, something. What would you say was like kind of the most... Uh, when these guys would take you out to dinner, for example, whether it was the first date or one of these guys you dated for three months, mm-hmm. would uh, did any of them take you to somewhere a little pricier when it came to dinner? Yes. Okay. What do you think is the most a guy spent on you on a first date? He told me three thousand dollars. On a, on, the on, a on dinner, he told me it was three thousand, but when I added it in my head, it was probably fifteen hundred. Uh-huh. But it was a very it Only was that's a lot. No, it's a lot. Okay. And he's the one that's still was my like, friend to, what, what's to the this day. Fancy is it Nobu? Is that the place? It wasn't. That's no, expensive? it was an Asian fusion restaurant in downtown LA. Fifteen hundred first. And was this a guy that you saw again or no? Yeah, this was one. Of, this uh, was actually my true situationship. The 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 he, most re- the last one. No, this oh, was the wait. one before him. I was in a situation oh, with this I guy see. Okay. where he treated me like his girlfriend. He, he was living his life in reverse. He didn't want anything serious. He had three kids before the age of 30. Yeah. But first, sorry, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so we were in a situation for about three or four months. And then you said, fifth, uh, so the first date, though, he spent 1500 No, no, no. Oh, one of the dates he spent. One of the dates. How much did he, what's the most that the guy spent on the first date? I would say fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, fifteen hundred. <laughs> I would say that would probably be the most someone's ever spent that on one me. One specific guy, would he continue to take you on like kind of fancier dates? Always. And stuff? We always, always went on fancy dates. And he's actually my friend still. He's the one guy, the guy that I slept with that's still my friend. Because he did not want to be in a relationship. Damn. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And no, no, it's nothing yeah. Not me. Okay. So no, he didn't want to be in a relationship. But we had a really great friendship. Like, he's yeah. a great guy. And, and so we're still friends sure. to this and day. And so how, much, how often did you see him? Like, how many dates do you think you went on with him? We saw each other once a week. For three months? Mm-hmm. So maybe about 10 times. Mm-hmm. 10, 10, 12, 10 to 20 maybe? Sure. Okay. And he would always take you out to a fancy, nice dinner? Not, Not always. always. I mean, sometimes we had tacos from the sure. taco truck, but... But then other times he'd spend $3,000 on a dinner. He said it was 3000 but, but sure. He was... Okay. And then any of the other guys, the the other three guys, would they ever fancy dinners? Big, big yes. Mm-hmm. But not one of these dinners you ever paid, correct? No. Mm. You mentioned that you bring your success to a relationship. Uh, you went on 45 first dates. Not one of them did you pay for. And of the three men that you did have continuing, you know, more than just the first date. So I failed to see how your success, translation, your finances, your money, has anything to do with your attractiveness to a partner when you're not bringing that to a relationship by your own admission. I think a lot of guys 
today in the state of California want a woman that wants to, that brings does something what did in you their do? life? I'm saying I have my own job. I have a job. Well, but and this is I'll, I'll just be blunt. This is why men don't actually care about your success or your finances because we don't reap any benefits of your success. So when women say, well, I have these academic credentials and I have this high paying job and I'm successful, I don't have debt, I have all this money. Even in your case, you went on 45 dates, not one did you pay for, they paid for the whole meal. These men would spend thousands of dollars, some of them would spend thousands of dollars. I'm failing to see how your success or your money would be enticing to any of them, given that they didn't, stand, they didn't reap any benefit. That was only one date, but when it, you don't know, I mean, you know after a couple of dates if you have chemistry with somebody or if you, ha if you have compatibility, well, but yes. I, don't, I, don't under, I don't see where you're going with because I'm saying I have a job and that well, I bring that to the table that I work. Can I add something? Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. I feel, and I don't want you to take any offense to this, uh -huh. I feel like your generation was very much... Yeah taken into a woman has to have a job has to be successful because it was like kind of after the whole feminism thing yeah. and you guys were like super brainwashed into like being equal partners with the man and how you say you want like a man Wait, with traditional what? values no, no 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 hold on hold on so she's 52 right yeah while that's been like slowly becoming the case uh this is uh, this is more so the case as time goes on it's not like well, it was the case back then. No, it's still now. I'm not saying it's not, but I'm saying like everyone no, kind of from 50, like... No, but this 50-50 thing, it's not, it wasn't like boom in the 90s and then down in the 2000s. No, it's still it's, now. It's still current. No, it, but it's been climbing, climbing, climbing 50-50, but you're saying it was more so the case in her generation, no, I'm saying, which just can't be true. I'm, okay, like most of, at least the people I know, like women from their 30s to around her age and their 50s are very much like they want to be more successful than putting the focus on like being like you said being with someone and helping them with their career and focusing on like building a family and having children and taking care of their children they're more focused on like i need to be successful so i find the right partner that matches me well, I also grew up with a female as the role model. She was the breadwinner. My father lost his job, and so my stepmother took over. So I actually grew up seeing a woman working. So I think that's sure. a lot that's, of where my that's totally fine. But my ambition came from, or where I've and but again, and, uh -huh. so there were men, there were three men that you dated for about three months. Mm -hmm. At no point in the relationship did your success or finances or money ever get into the picture so how could your success be what you're bringing to the table if none of the 45 men that you went on the first date with and none of the three men that you had a three-month relationship mm. with reaped any benefits of your success how can that be something that you're bringing to the table well those were men that I wasn't compatible with, but my 10-year relationship, we split everything 50-50. We purchased a home together. We did every, you know, so it was... But a, that's your past, right? Yeah, but sure, what I'm saying but, is but that... That's, but, but wait, hang on, hang on. You got to back So he out. reaped the rewards he, of my well, we, success. We understand the But I don't see where the 45 that. dates has anything to do with that. In a because previous relationship... Just meeting someone for the first time. In, sure, in a previous relationship, you said you split everything 50-50. But right now, you said you're looking for a man with traditional values. When right. I asked you what those are, you said he provides for me. And protects. So it kind of, yeah. well, provides and protects, sure. But if that's what your criteria is, then Brian's saying, okay, if that's true, then all of these dates that you went on recently, why would your success be something you're bringing to the table if they're paying for everything? They clearly don't give a shit about that, right? I think, I don't know. I have no idea. I didn't ask them if my success mattered to them. I mean, you guys talked about all sorts of different things. You must have talked about work and this type of thing, right? Some of them were first dates. So you, yeah, you don't go that deep. You just go deep enough to know that, hey, this is my person or we're compatible. There's chemistry. But so conceivably, even on a first date, you would say, well, I, I have. I bringing. did have one guy say that to me. He's like, I like that, you're, that you work. 
because if something were to happen, you're fine on your own. Was that was it only a first date? It guy? wasn't one first date. Yeah. That was the only out of all the forty five. That's the only time I can remember. Why don't you offer to? Do you offer to split? Um, well, after a while, not for the first date, but like if we're dating. I, but I thought what I you have bring paid for things. I have paid for things. Well, in the not of any, not from any of the f recently, right? Like By I paid for admission. takeout once when they came over, something like What's that. What's the most you spent? Twenty bucks on In and Out. It's expensive. No, like takeout, like like Postmates is expensive. Like okay, 30, for 40, 50 bucks. 50, 60, something like that. You ever like take that. any guy out on a thousand dollar plus? No, because I have a kid that I'm supporting. What about that guy? Didn't he have three kids? Who? The, oh, the one. The guy that spent a fifteen hundred dollars on a dinner. Yeah, they were they're adult kids. Don't and, you have an adult kid? Yeah, but you they're out one? of the house. They're out of the house. I have one who's still in the house and that I'm supporting. Three? Adult kids. He has three adult kids that are that are out of like he has. There's no well, overhead on those kids anymore. But so if what you bring to the table is your success, it's one of the things. Yeah, it's I didn't one say of, that sure, it was. Yeah, it, it's one of everything. The things. Why don't you offer to split? Because <laughs> I have an adult son that I'm taking care of by myself. Well, I, I'm not speaking. <laughs> that, I'm not speaking about that thousand dollar plus. Like if you go get tacos. I have. I've gotten dessert, I've gotten tacos, I've paid for valet. Okay. But I'm just confused if if that's what you're bringing to the table. It doesn't seem like it's manifesting itself in any of the 45 dates that you went on. 